Hello and welcome to my let's play of Staff Only. Staff Only is a roguelike deck builder with puzzle elements and it was released in early access by the end of 2020. The original plan was to release the full version between March and summer this year. I don't know if that's still the plan, but well, I assume the devs will release the game once they are happy with it. Um, from what I hear, it's already loads of fun, so let's start a new game. Okay, um, deck. Cards in your deck have connections, top, right, bottom and left. In the center of your deck you can see a total number of cards and total number of connections of your card. You can also, uh, your cards, you can also click here to view the list of cards in your deck. Okay, so I guess, yeah, this would be the total number, 10 cards, 6 connections on top and bottom and 7 on the left and the right. So this connection system seems to be like the most unique thing about this game. So I'm really intrigued to find out how it works. But uh, yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, energy. Energy is a resource which you spend for buying new cards in the shop. Okay. Dungeon. This is your current position in the dungeon. Notes that are currently accessible to you are highlighted with icons. Be sure to check boss note to see what rewards you can get if complete the dungeon quickly. Okay, um, so here are we, safe zone, no battle, and we have two possible enemies. Looking the same since, well, we can go, oh well, guess we should go here because here we have both options, here we can only go to the bottom note, so I mean these don't really look different either but yeah whatever um, the connections yeah they are fully the same I think well uh, is this the boss note yeah final battle rewards 20 energy 15 rerolls 20 health uh, rewards decrease in 10 okay so one two three four five six seven eight I guess I can theoretically go back and forth. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Um, did you even see that? Did, was I in the way? So this is the boss note here. <laughs> and well, I guess we start our first battle. Let's, let's go here and see how it works. Hand. You can use cards in your hand to defeat your opponent. There's no cost to, uh, to play a card. You can play as many as you can, as long as you can place all of them, okay? Each turn, the first card must be placed in the center of the board. All consecutive cards must be connected to other cards. Okay. End turn, you can pull the lever to execute cards effects and end your turn. You can see the result of your actions to the left of the lever. Okay. Enemy, after you end your turn, enemies execute their abilities and the battle board, uh, on the battle board and attacks you. You can see enemies health, attack and defense here. Okay, enemy tokens each turn. Enemy places tokens on the battle board or locks some slots or connections. Be sure to check tokens effects before you plan your turn. Okay, um, what do we have here? Armor, if not closed enemy will have, enemy, uh, will have extra armor. Same here, okay. So, seems like we want to have something from which we can go left and right or at least bottom. Well, seems like this would be a good centerpiece. Alright. Um, yeah, let's already put this here, this here. Then we can put this down here. Ah, okay, they have different effects if uh, at the bottom or on top, at least this one does. The others seem to be just always the same. So do we want more armor or more attack? Well, it's got four attack and only three armor. So let's put it on top and the best offense on the bottom. So we have nine attack total and six armor. And we didn't leave any of those armor spots open, so that's good, let's pull the lever. Okay, 
And already Mr. Cat is joining us. That uh, might be distracting. Critical spot will deal damage to an enemy uh, if closed. Okay, that's cool. Let's try to do that. Uh, yeah, so we have to place this one in the center because it's the only one that allows us to go down. Okay. Um, yeah, then I guess this one on the bottom. Um, hello, Mr. Cat. <laughs> and uh, so if on right, armor three. If on the left, attack four. Come on, buddy. <laughs> What's your plan? <laughs> okay, gotcha. Uh, uh. Yeah, like this. Does that work? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, had to do some cat management here, but I think he likes the spot. So uh, you get to see a bit of cat. Um, okay, this is what we are looking at. If on right, armor three. If on left, attack four. So let's try to put it on the left. Um, Ah, upgrade adjacent cards by two. Well, I wish I had seen that sooner, but well, we still wouldn't have been able to um, get down here if I had used it for like two sides. Okay, you still trying to find a good spot? Okay, behind my back it is again. <laughs> and move. Um, okay. Well, I think now it's taken care of. Okay, um, so I suppose we want to upgrade maybe the attack card. Boop, attack five, cool. Makes sense. Yeah, only adjacent if connected. Got it. All right. Um, Ooh, that one has attack four, so I guess it would have made sense to... Can I still... Ah, okay, I can still change stuff. I guess it makes sense to have four armor then, so that I don't fall, um, like, um, below um, my... Like, their attack is, is not higher than my armor value. Okay. Yeah, blocked it. Um... So this will give the enemy armor. Let's try to block that again. So we definitely have to get to the right somehow. And from there down. So... Suppose something like this makes sense in the center. And then this on the right. I already have enough armor, so let's put this on top, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and this left, that works perfectly. And this one down here, well then we have still more armor than we need, but I guess that couldn't be prevented. Looks good. And we have almost defeated them. Okay, I... Uh, I think I want to uh, do preparation with this plates thing. Let's see. Yeah, okay, we have to start in the center. Maybe let's try to put that in the center this time and just work from there. Uh, seems to be a decent approach. Yeah, that's better. It's optimal, I think. So, final turn and we win. Cool. Okay, so here we are. Now we have two options. Um, doesn't really seem to matter where we go because they look pretty similar and well, we can reach the same destinations from each. So let's just head into the next battle. Okay, what are you? Interesting, interesting. So, um, up here we have Pierce. You will lose HP if this is not closed. Okay. We don't have any upgrade things, so it's just like fill everything and make sure there's something up here. Okay. I think we can, we can make 
make that happen. Should be, should be possible. Yep. Okay. Seems to work. Pretty straightforward. Okay, now this one down here needs to... Oh, attack 6 this time. Well, I had enough armor. That's, that's good. So... Maybe let's try putting this in the center again. Hmm. Well, I will need to use one of these as armor at least. So, oh, this one is always armor. So let's put it here. So it's at four. Um, Well, this doesn't work. This way I can't get down there. That's not great. So let's rethink. Is there a way to get down there? Oh, yes, there is. But uh, yes, like this then. Okay. What? Why does that not work? Huh? Why? This one has a connection on that side. What am I missing? Well, that works. For some reason... This one doesn't let me connect. Ah, this is blocked. Ah, okay. Ah, <laughs> well, then I guess there's no way to get down here. At least I don't see a way. Because we would need to, like, get there from the top part. Uh, and we only have one that connects, like, or two. This one goes down as well, but we can't really... Like, if we have this one, we had to go up first and down again, so yeah, I guess we can't reach this. That's sad, but okay. Well then, let's just work with what we have and ignore this spot down here. Sad times. Um, so it should be attack 6. Well, this is not great either. Yeah, okay, so like this we can place everything and we have... Uh, we have enough armor? Yeah, we have more than enough armor, I think. Weird, how do we have so much? Oh, right, armor 5 and... okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't really know how to place it differently. And it's okay, I guess. Let's just do it. I think we'll be fine. Okay. Um, so we would have to get up there and can't go through here. So... Yeah, that should be possible, right? Huh. Does this give us nothing now? Uh, it seems like it doesn't, so that's not a good center card. Uh, best offense in the center then. Mm. And now we have to get to the side with this. So... Still need some armor. armor. Still need some more, even. So, I suppose we put this on the right side then and use the preparation here. Looks good. Yeah, okay, so I'm down to 19 because uh, I didn't close this once. 
Uh, this one is closed now, that shouldn't be a huge problem. Um, we have loads of plates and some attack. Uh, I think this shouldn't be too hard to fill. Let's see if I'm correct. And yeah, this works. And we should win. Nice, nice. Okay, shop. You can buy new cards here. I don't know if you see everything here. Well, you don't see the rerolls in the corner and the price of one of these things. So let me quickly move myself a bit. Yeah, that should work for now. So you can buy new cards here. Cards without connections execute their effects immediately when you buy them. Okay, positioning, armor 2, if on bottom, armor 4. Okay, sword and shield, attack 2, armor 1. Central module can only be placed adjacent to center. Draw, upgrade previously placed card by 2. Ah, okay, adjacent to center, got it. Uh, I can't see the rush either because of the next button, so let's see. Uh, ah. This is the cost of a new card and a button to buy it. Okay, got it. In the case of no interesting cards available, you can re-roll all cards in the shop. Okay. So we are level 5, I guess. And okay, rush can be placed only on top. Attack 10. Uh, well, that's pretty expensive. I can't even afford that. Um, Central module might be good for cards like the sword and shield. Um, you know what, I think we're good for now. Let's not get into buying stuff just yet. I'll uh, get myself back down here. That's good, I guess. So yeah, for now, let's head into something here. Uh, safe zone, safe zone. Reroll station, gain additional rerolls in exchange for cards. I don't really care for that. Charging station, gain energy in exchange for cards. Oh, they say, said the available. How can I reach this one already from here? Where am I? I think I'm. Hmm. I guess I can do these things multiple times. I just have to get ahead here or is this where I am I suppose um, I'm not sure if I want to give cards away already so and also rerolls I don't think so let's just go to the safe zone for now and then into battle here with rewards. Yeah, this one has more connections, so let's do this one. Okay, new enemy, attack 5, defense 0, and what are these? Weakness lowers power of a card placed on top of it. That's not great. Hacking swaps attack and armor on a card. Okay, interesting. Um, so, we want Five armor and not more. That should be possible. Maybe let's try not to go up here. So let's start with this. And then, um, well, this could have place it here, give me armor four. But armor four is not enough, so I'm not sure. and um, armor 2 mm. well but now we can't make this an attack card because of this here this will make it armor so that's not great Yes. 
I don't know if we can, <laughs> whatever, I think we, we are still safe if we do it like this. It's a bit overkill on the armor, but whatever. Have the attack here, it should be alright. Okay, so swapping is up there, we again need 5 armor. Uh, this would be... Okay, well, it would be even better not to have it next to this thing. So maybe let's go down from here first. Uh, but then I can't place it like this. Okay, then let's use it here. It's still better if this is upgrade 2 and this is minus 1. should still be positive. So... Um, Seven, good enough. Although we get even more, um, so maybe switching would be better. Whoops, I didn't want to take everything off actually, but that's okay. Um, Looks good. Six armor, enough attack. No, no connection here, I think. Or is there? No, there is. Okay. Uh, don't, don't know if we have to think about this this much. Probably not, right? Necessarily. Yeah, this works. Perfect. Okay. Um. No. More than enough plates. Um. Really avoid taking taking this space because we have uh, too many of these up down connectors. We even place all of this. I'm not even sure. Probably not. So, I think if we place this one in the center, it might work out. one then just uh, stuff in the right spots yeah this is better <laughs> now we have just overkill armor but okay nah it's all right no we don't even have that much armor six only that's okay and we win yeah i guess i was overthinking this but better to learn stuff right now than uh, Okay, so they will just stay the same until I re-roll. Okay, good to know. Um, well, still upgrading a card by two seems uh, decent, I guess. Like depends. Uh, positioning seems good. Armor four on one card. Yeah, maybe let's get this one. Although I would be, I would like to have more attack. Yeah, rush with attack 10. That's pretty awesome. Let's get that. And we have dart uh, with attack 5 and draw 1. I just tell you, and it also costs 10 energy. Uh, we don't have enough for that. Only 2 energy left. So we're done with shopping and uh, ready to continue down here to the next battle. 
6 attack, defense 0, shouldn't be too hard. So let's make it happen. Um, we need to get up there. That's okay. This then first. This here. Yeah. How much armor do we have? Okay, not quite enough. What about? Okay, perfect. All right, that works. this I'm afraid, so we will take some damage, that should be okay. Uh, okay, go. That's pretty ideal. enough to win anyway, so. All right. Energy five, rerolled two. Nice, so. Um, how many rewards decrease in five? So I still have time. I guess that means I should use the time I have. Oh, I have an elite battle here. Let's go there. Sounds interesting. Seven attack, 52 health, no defense. Ooh, and stuff on the board. What's this? Repair and disable. Enemy will gain health if this is not closed. Card placed on top will lose its effects. Oh, that's rough. Weakness. Doors power of a card. Okay, by two. Oh man, that's rough. Well... battle after all, so I guess I had to expect something like this, so we will take damage here, that's fine. Um, I don't know if this would happen just after the turn, so it would be better to place the attack somewhere else where it like does something then, but uh, maybe this is the time to try it. Stuff then. Oh yeah, like this. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Okay, let's see if now like the total damage is 7 in the end, so it goes down to 45 overall, or if it's like at 41. It's at 41. Okay, so this is acted out like before my cards happen, I suppose. I'm afraid I might not survive this. Well, let's see. Okay, we have enough armor this time. That's nice. Okay. Um, doesn't even make a big difference, really. Yeah, kind of does. I don't know, but this is all right. Okay. Uh, okay. So we want to get down there somehow. Possible. Mm, no, it isn't. So they will heal this time. Eh, well, that's okay then. Okay. 
Okay, bottom armor 3 looks good. So we only only take 2 damage. That's still rough, but uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, okay, they first heal and then our attack happens. That's good to know. Um, Well, I suppose we don't need this much armor anyway. Oh wait, we can just do it. I take this one off and put it here for attack. And wait, not this way around. This one here and this one here. We don't have quite enough armor, but at least like this attack damage goes through and we have 16 attack. Yeah, that's a good turn. Okay. Alright, so this one will not be preventable. We may as well put this one there, but I'm not sure if that's a great idea. Nah, we need, uh, we need armor. Eh, this is good enough. We don't need this. Oh, they healed first. Okay, we would have needed it. Well then, one more turn. That's okay. damage and I wouldn't die so I guess it's okay let's just finish it now yeah that's good all right uh, what do we have here elite boost I suppose replicant each turn gain additional card four connections attack three remove what is remove I wish I knew combinatorics combo cards are upgraded by one what are combo cards <laughs> Uh, I wish they had told me about the different card types. Stasis field at the start of the battle, gain armor 5. Um, oh well, I guess one way to find out is to just pick it. Um, so we pick the replicant. I guess we'll see. So... Well, I don't see much here, so let's start heading over here. Four, we should make that, so that's good. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, and two, so I guess if I go here first, I still have full rewards now, right? Let's hope so. Okay, attack 4, defense 2. That shouldn't be too hard. Critical spot will deal damage to an enemy if closed. Well, let's make that happen. Here we have the replicant. Uh, wait, what does it say? Removed cards are not available until the end of the battle. Well, I get it every turn, right? So it doesn't really matter. But I guess it's just so that they don't uh, 
remove all cards from this battle. Seriously? Is that what it does? I'm not sure if that's good. Well, I have even cards left then. I have a total of six cards, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe that's... Hmm. I don't know. Should we just try it and fail? I'm scared. Yeah. Whatever, I'm gonna try it and maybe not put all my cards in. I don't know. this I suppose. We don't even need to put this there. We can just play the preparation here. This one here I guess. See if now everything is removed from our deck. That would be interesting. Let's see if we see those cards again. I think they were not removed, or do we have so many of these attack cards? Curious. Oh, here it says we only have one deck in our uh, card in our deck left, so it might actually be true. I'm not sure. Maybe let's not play this again for now, until we are sure. Okay. Yeah, might as well play that on the bottom to get some armor. Pointless. <laughs> I don't know. Do I have more armor permanently or just for this turn? Permanently? No, just for this turn. Well, then it's not a big deal. I'm confused. Really confused. Well, let's just play it now because we'll win now anyway. I think only this one is removed, right? I don't know, probably. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know, our deck looks like I remember it. 11 cards, yeah, we added one, we had 10 in the beginning, so I suppose that's all right. Um, okay. The dart looks pretty cool and we have plenty of energy now. The dart does attack five and draw one, has only connections on the top and bottom though, but attack five is awesome and drawing cards is super nice, so let's just get the dart I guess and now we have power punches now we know what a combo card is I guess it says combo X attack two times X but the card effect will change depending on its play order well that doesn't tell me too much about it what 
What's X? That would be good to know. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm not sure if we want this because I don't know what X is. Doesn't tell me, it just says combo. The card effect will change depending on its play order, which doesn't help a lot. Like if I play it as the fifth card, then X is five. That would be good. Hmm. Should we get it? Whatever, let's try it. It's our first run. We try stuff. So I suppose we fight the boss now because rewards would decrease otherwise. So here we go. 80 health, 7 attack, 2 defense and lots of stuff on the board. Cool. <laughs> well then, let's start by placing the replicant in the center. Uh, damage. Enemy will gain extra attack if this is not closed. Well, let's maybe prevent that. Uh, well, we don't want the weakness spots, so let's just try to fill these four, maybe this five. Yeah, sounds good. So we have the dart. That's pretty cool, but not sure how to ideally place it on this thing here. here first. Mm. Yeah, rush here. Um. Then let's just use this as a connecting piece. Defense. Hmm. That's not good. We don't have that. Oh, our health isn't fully restored for some reason. I guess it doesn't do that automatically. Good to know. Wish I had known that sooner. Um, hmm. Well, then this does not work. So this is three armor now. So we're getting closer. Um. Yeah, but where do we put this now and how? Just by placing the rush here. Damn, minus three is rough. Armor is the most important thing. <sighs> I mean, this gives us armor 8 and they would get an attack boost of 1, so I suppose we'd be fine and we can still play this and have even a bit more attack and draw a card next turn, so... I suppose this is decent, so we should be able to parry all the damage and deal some good damage. Okay, what is this? Stun. If not closed, you will draw less cards. Well, we can't have that. That's horrible. Um, okay, we have the preparation. And we can try the power punches. Let's see. fifth card now and it adds 10 damage actually yeah that's awesome huh well, I think we can do a bit better than that um, placing this here first then this here and then this down here that's a lot of damage <laughs> and we can almost parry all the damage incoming so that's neat Achievement, overdrive. 
I guess that's due to the nice combo we just did. Okay, um, so we have a minus three in the center. Not nice, but I suppose we just put the replicant there to have access to everything. Um, so we definitely want some armor again. Um, all right we take some damage but i don't think that we can prevent that i think we've placed all the armor we got right now okay so again we have to remove the stuns um don't have oh we have the preparation okay preparation goes in the center then so that we can connect two things to it uh, oh, and we have two plates. Well, that should be good then. We also have the best offense. Sadly, that can't connect to the preparation. That would be awesome. Oh, well. Um, so, guess let's put the best offense here, maybe. Could work. The replicant here. Uh, armor down here. Flexible up there. And more attack down here. Good stuff. Um, so I haven't even given an impression, but uh, that's because I'm like so invested in this and like totally focused on it. We are 47 minutes in and I didn't even like. Uh, think about it this is super cool I like it a lot like uh, the whole puzzle mechanic is really neat it's definitely leading to a different approach to like using your stuff because the first thing I always look at is how can I connect these and the next thing is kind of what do they actually do but also yeah, it's a lot of stuff to think about at the same time and it's super dynamic so I really like that concept uh, we might have some trouble here due to the fact that we don't have much uh, much we can use to parry but on the other hand we might just win right now since we um, we do have uh, the power punches again and I think I should be able to pull off a good power punch here. But it would also be nice to um, close all the... Uh, can I even close them all? I suppose I can't. Theoretically I could. Practically. Difficult. Remove this one from the center and put the plates instead. That should be better. Uh, top was okay, I think. Yeah, so now we have a bit... Uh, yeah, now we can, can do better. Put this here, this here. Finish things with a nice combo and we win. Uh, at least that's what I assume, we take some more damage, which is not great, because we don't heal instantly, I think, but, um, looks good. <laughs> okay, on edge, max HP is set to 5. What? Every break becomes repair? I don't want my max HP at 5, and I don't even know what break and repair do. Uh, so I guess we don't do that. You receive a copy of every removed card in discard. 
So is this like, are these like cards or... Because, I, do I have something in this card right now? Do I instantly receive a copy? I'm confused. Hi, bats. Enemies take and deal two times the damage. Ooh, that sounds cool, but also pretty risky and <laughs> wouldn't like make much more armor necessary. I don't think that's what we want. Let's just go with the hard steel because, well, at least we do have something that gets removed. So let's see. Maybe that will be helpful. Achievement unlocked. First step. So, uh... Yeah, that was area number one. And since we're already at 50 minutes, maybe this is a good good point in the game to stop for today. But I really feel like this is yeah, this is really a unique approach to the whole thing. Like this is a gameplay mechanic I have not seen so far. Um, maybe you have, but to me it's new and fresh and cool, so... Um, oh, this one has break. Um, does it tell anything about it? only says position. This card effect will change depending on its position. Uh, well, thanks, but I don't really think that's the case there. Um, this is the case for positioning here with if on bottom armor 4. That's not the case for flank. Flank has break and stuff. Yeah, well, it's early access, so there's still some stuff to improve on and some, some more tutorials to give. But I guess that's okay. I wish I knew what break does. Maybe I will find out in the next episode. But yeah, um, let me know what you think about this game in the comments. Uh, what are your impressions? I think it's really neat so far and I think I want to play this some more. Maybe I'll do that on my live stream. Maybe I'll just do one tomorrow. I was thinking about that anyway and I could just play some more of this because I find this really enjoyable. I might also like uh, play The Witness because uh, I promised and uh, that would also be some puzzle action. So I'm not sure yet. Maybe you will catch me on the live stream tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. And um, you could follow me on Twitch and Twitter if you, um, yeah, if you want to do that. I suppose that's it for today. If you want to check out this game for yourself, as always, I'll put a Steam link down below in the description. It's, uh, I think, eight bucks and a few cents, so not very expensive and um, really, really fresh game. <laughs> so yeah, I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye.